Hey guys, what's up? So I got something super duper interesting. Um, today, I have Boston with me. He's one of my students. He's done multiple six figures. And me and him, we're gonna collaborate and we're gonna go ahead and literally release the whole series on how we literally took him from like, I think five to 6K to scaling his one product to over $100,000. And we'll be literally showing you 10 freaking episodes of every single step of the way. So I'm very excited for this series because this is similar to my 30K 30 day series. And this is gonna be like next level stuff because it's super transparent. We're gonna be showing you the store. We're showing the pixel, the face of ads. You guys literally get to see everything. Um, so I'll let Barton take it away and he can sort of tell you guys a bit of himself and let him tell about himself, about his journey and how he got to where he is and let him sort of just share his story a bit. But yeah, take it over Barton. Hey guys, I'm Barton and basically I started dropshipping about 10 months ago now and I'm currently 17 years old and when I started I didn't really have much success until this point and in this episode you're going to see the first ever winning product that I found and how I managed to scale it with Andy to over $100,000. And then from then on, I've just been going and I have multiple six figure stores. Awesome stuff, Boston. So let's go ahead and share your screen and show everyone where you're currently at and sort of give you guys a taste of what where Boston is currently at. And then we'll take it all the way back into the past when he first started. Yeah, guys. So basically, um, this was my first ever winning product, the one that I worked with Andy for. And in this screenshot, it was basically 100K in 30 days. We managed to scale that store to, I think, 130 or 140K. And then after that, these are just my results, like for the other stores that I've ran. Um, basically just picked up all my like new tricks and everything I learned with Andy. And from then on with all my future stores, I just pop started popping like multiple um, six figure stores, like higher OS. And yeah, this is my highest day currently, 8.4K. It's still baby numbers, but slowly getting up there. This is, two of my so the one on the right is the store that me and andy worked on so we scaled that to 130k then i think it was like a few weeks or months later opened up a new store and then um it was actually a fashion apparel store and i scaled that to 100k as well and then now my current store i've also got into just over 100k so about 300k to my name and that's still baby numbers but it's only just the start good stuff boss and i love how you're still humble and you're still wanting to learn and yeah like yeah, these yeah. are real results and the first store that we, that Barson mentioned, we're literally gonna be showing you guys everything when it comes to that store. Exactly. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. You know, we wanna be as transparent as possible. We're gonna be showing you in depth how we built these campaigns, but Barson, tease everyone with the results and show everyone that we ain't joking. Yeah, guys, so basically here you can see that like this is my ad account, I'ma just refresh it again. So we spent $52,000 to get back 117K and obviously, you know, Facebook doesn't track all the results. They missed out on about 15,000. But um, yeah, basically a thousand purchases, ROAS of 2.25, the break even was like 1.6 or 1.7, something like that. So we are completely profitable, I think like 20% margins or something like that. So yeah, that's it. And these are all the campaigns basically. Amazing stuff, boss, amazing stuff. And we'll be literally showing you guys how these campaigns were made, how these ad sets were made, how we went ahead and did lookalike audience. You guys are getting the whole strategy. Um, so you definitely wanna go ahead and click the links below, follow Barson, follow his YouTube channel because he's revealing everything. And I'm so excited for this collaboration and series that we're gonna be putting together. Yeah, basically, before I started with working with Andy, my ad account didn't look like this, basically, it was just a mess. I just had like random interests, random lookalikes. Like I didn't know how to work anything out. I was just following strategies from like a hundred other gurus. I didn't really have a set blueprint. I was still hitting, I think about 1000 or $2,000 a day, but that's just cause the product was a winner and the product was just carrying it. But I didn't have like a strict a set strategy that was really pushing it to the limits until I started working with Andy. This is our first call ever. He reached out to me, he needed help scaling. And let's go over and take it back to what his problems were and really show you guys that he was literally just like one of you guys trying to figure out drop shipping. Um, yeah guys, so this is the first time I ever met Andy. Um, only knew him for about like a week before that when I first like went to schedule a call, but this is basically my first time talking to him. Um, basically like I've been watching your videos for like a while now and then like I've so far been watching the zero to 30 day um, 30k 
you know, the 360 glide. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, like when I saw that, it just confirmed like, yeah, I want to take action. Awesome. And tell me a bit about your sort of journey so far. Uh, yeah, so I started dropshipping like a couple of months ago. And then, um, yeah, like I'd say four or five months ago. And then I just like ran through because I, I don't have like a set system of like what products to test or like what um like what testing strategy and like that. So I ran through like, I'd say like comfortably like 25 products at least. And then I hadn't really found, I, I might've found a winner, but I didn't really know what to do with it. So yeah, but then now I feel like I've, I might've actually found my first winner, like that I, I've actually like taken proper action with and basically I started testing it like a week ago and then now I've made like 2,200 in revenue in like a week. So here are the facts on what Barson was starting with. Um, this was his winning product. He spent a thousand dollars and here were his results. Um, so the revenues he had 200, I mean, sorry, 2,286. And then from that, it cost like 1,000. I spent 1,000 on Facebook ads and cost Whoa. of goods 900. So that leaves me with three hundred and seventy nine dollars profit. And then you spend a thousand on ads. Yeah, because like I, I created like a top five CBO and that just that spent a hundred dollars, no sales. And then I also like um, duplicated like a winning interest ten times for ten dollars each, and that was hundred dollars. And then that went like almost hundred dollars, no sales. So that was like a waste of two hundred dollars, basically. Got it. And is this business something that you're doing? on your own or are you doing it with like a partner or spouse? Um, basically on my own, but my mom, she knows a bit about job shipping. So she's like here and there, you know, like she helps me with it. Yeah, bro, so I have my mom here as well. Hi Andy. Awesome. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. I was um, just watching your video for the day of the live, uh, life of the drop shipper. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Sure. No worries. So yeah, and then he would go ahead and really break into what's sort of stopping Barson from scaling his product because he was profitable, but let's see why he couldn't scale it out. Um, I think it's cause like, I, I've seen a lot of scaling strategies from like a number of YouTubers. And then like, I, I like go from this guy's strategy to that guy's strategy and like, it just gets mixed up, you know? So basically we've just had like two main campaigns that have been working well. And then when we opened like the third campaign to try scale and that didn't work, all I did is, I just ended the, the campaign and then I, what's been working well is I just duplicated the ad sets within the current campaign that's been doing well and that's been doing good. So that's what I tried to do to like resolve it. I guess another thing is that we are not sure exactly how many days, uh, um, you know, is the process taking is like a, a, in what day we supposed to really do the scaling. I was looking at your program and your video and I see in the second day you have done the uh, look a lot with uh, audience. And uh, you know, the, I guess as Boston said, there is uh, because we watch different uh, um, people, uh, so we're a bit confused of which strategy is correct and in this stage, what we should expect exactly. You said that in your 25 to 20 products you tested, is this the first one or had you had another sort of winner that you tried scaling but you couldn't? Yeah, so I had this product basically and it was doing fine. Like it literally spent $15. This is like two months ago. And then in return, it got like $300 and like $15 I spent like two hours with an ad. And then for some reason, my Facebook got disabled and then I got it back and then nothing was the same. It was all like, it didn't work well anymore and stuff. And then I, I reached like, I'd say a month ago, I was doing pretty good with, you know, those pet beds that were pretty popular. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was fine. It went to like 1K, but it went to 1K in like 20 days. So it was really slack. Whenever I tried to scale, it just didn't seem like a scalable product for me. Cool. So at the moment, you've had a few products with potential, but you haven't been able to successfully scale any of them. Yeah, exactly. But um, I was going to say with this product right now, how it's it's been, it's got revenue like 2,200 and in profit, it's like 379. Is that like on the right track? I think that's okay. Um, yeah. There's definitely room for it to scale further. Yeah, I think yeah. As of right now, you might be spending a lot of money on Facebook ads on things that aren't working and it's cutting into yeah, your yeah. profits at the moment. Yeah, exactly. How much on average is it costing you to get a sale at the moment? Um, it was like $40 on average. And is the that... profit, and we buy the product for around $40 as well and we sell it for 99 Got it. So your profit margin is roughly around $60? Yep, correct. 
And what happens when you sort of um, scale? You said that you tried launch duplicating, you tried doing CBOs, and you just spent three hundred two three hundred dollars and you got zero sales correct yeah exactly because the only like campaigns that have been working are like the two original campaigns but then when i tried doing the top five cbo i spent so it's been like 95 dollars on it and then it just got zero purchases it got like only two add to carts and one checkout but yeah basically zero purchase on that so i ended that and then um i also did a because saga miller in one of his videos he says like a way to scale is get 10 like one of the interests that is working well duplicate that 10 times into a new campaign at $10 daily and then I did that I spent $85 and got no sales so that was sort of a bit of a breakdown of like why he couldn't scale and what his problems were and now we really go ahead and really ask him what his goals were and let's hear what Barson last year's goals were and we'll see if he were able to hit it like this is a blast and a pass and it must be crazy for you Barson to literally listen to you several months ago especially like with your problems and now about to listen to what your goals were and i don't think you've probably heard of this or remember but i haven't i don't remember your goal too so i'm very excited to listen to this next segment yeah bro me too i'm curious to see um to see what i said where do you guys want to grow this business to in the next 12 months <laughs> i don't know like hopefully seven figures <laughs> got it any uh first monthly revenue goals um well, right now it's been like ten days into a month. With it, like two thousand two hundred. I don't know if we could hit like over five thousand a month. That'd be like a good start, and then just keep pushing forward from there. Got it. What do you think will sort of be your first goal, say in three months' time? Like all three months added up together, the amount of revenue. Um, monthly revenue goal. Uh, like in three months' time, I'd like to see like each month at least like fifty thousand in revenue each month. That'd be great. Got it. And is this USD or New Zealand? Uh, USD. So yeah, that was Barton's goal. He wanted to hit like $5,000 a month. He wanted to then hit $50,000 a month. What do you have to say, Barton? Um, yeah, that's crazy to think about because I remember at the time thinking like even $5,000 a month was a lot because take in mind prior to that, I think I only had like $2,000 to my name. And then all of a sudden in that month, I think we had like over 100000 So that was just mind blowing, yeah. Yeah, and let's go ahead and hear about Barson's other goals and what other things he wanted to achieve out of dropshipping. Not just for my business, like that would be cool, but that give me a lot of confidence because I want to like, I look up to like you guys and stuff and eventually I want to be like having a YouTube channel and like mentor people. So like, that's like my motivation as well. And guess what guys, Barson actually mentors people. He has like several students. Share everyone your experience with that Barson. Um, yeah, so I have several students. I like basically all of them have found a lot of success, which is pretty cool. And in fact, one of my students, we took him from zero to basically 40K in like, I think it was a month and a half. So that was probably my craziest um, student result yet. That's pretty crazy, Barson. And you guys definitely want to watch that case study. It'll be linked in the description below. Go to Barson's channel. You'll have that video up on how he took his student from zero to 40. Like, that's my goal. I want to be able to create teachers. and. I definitely recommend you guys to watch Barson's case study and interview with the success student. How much are you doing per day right now? Um, basically, like right now today, I'm on 400, but my highest has just been 500, and I'd say average is just like 400, 500, and daily I've been on average, I'd say like 200 on ads. Got it. So what's the average again? Daily average? Um, for revenue, like I'd say average would be 450. Got it. So right now you're currently doing, you know, 450 a day, sort of slightly profitable. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that, Barson? Um, yeah, that's crazy, like how far I've come since then, because back then that was mega baby numbers. I was like two, 300, 400 a day. And I used to think that was so cool. And I was probably only profiting with like $60 or $70. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool to look back on that. Yeah, and especially now you've done like eight point, like $8,000 plus. Like that's in crazy, that's crazy numbers, Barson. Yeah, yeah, that's good for a day. I mean, obviously it's still baby numbers, but definitely a lot better than like what I was before. So yeah, I'm definitely proud of that. And now let's go ahead and listen to Boston's goal. Like he was incredibly hungry and we could see how that sort of transitioned and translated into the person he is now. Like he had sort of the taste of these hungers. Obviously he's grown a lot, but he had like a small bite. He had a he had a small fire that just needed coal, it needed wood to turn him into the person he is today. 
Oh, because like I'm just hungry for way more. I'm not the type of person who just like stay on like 450. Like I, I really just want to push forward and like eventually be hitting thousands a day. You know, but I, I I'm not satisfied with 450 at all. Okay, you just want to keep growing and like where you're at right now. Exactly. Not good enough. Exactly, and like my product's high ticket as well, so it's not like. 450 is not like, oh, we got 20 sales. It's just, we got four, four or five sales, you know? So yeah, guys, so that was the first session and the first call and the first time I've ever met or heard from Barca. And then since then, we've been on a crazy long journey and that was our very first call. And, you know, we started this call showing you guys what his current results are. We went ahead and now showed you his backstory because I really want to build this series up. I really wanted to sort of share a story and really give context into the type of person he is because like if you guys are going to watch 10 episodes of Barson's journey I want to give you guys a good backstory and that was literally Barson seven months ago and yeah what's your thoughts Barson? Um, yeah that's that's crazy to see how far like I've come and how much more like confident I've come when it's come to like drop shipping and business because back then I was like a total newbie and I, I literally knew nothing I was like she's taking small bits from all these other gurus but um i'm really happy with like how far i've come so far and this is just the beginning awesome so yeah that's today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions whatsoever drop in the comments below check out barson's in the channel below and we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with the next episode me and my editor and barson we're going to spend a lot of time to really make this series super awesome so please give us your feedback um let's go ahead and announce last week's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consulting course with me the winners here if you guys want to qualify or did you drop a comment below follow me on instagram hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and we're picking the best comment every single video i love that hope you guys have an amazing day and i'm excited for the next episode <music>